I wanted to get a big bench to start putting plants on because we're all crazy plant, plant people now, right? Um, but everything I saw was just really expensive, especially for the size that I wanted. So I decided to look into making my own. So instead of buying one for $647, I decided to make one that only cost $20 for the materials. Come with me to learn how you could do it too. First, cut your two by two by eight boards to 20 inches. You'll need four of them. Then miter one end of each board to 10 degrees. Before assembling, make sure to sand all of your pieces first. I like to increase from 80 to 120 to 220 grit sandpaper for a smooth finish. With your one half by three by 24 inch board, cut out seven inch piece. You're gonna want this for each pair of legs. Next, figure out where the center of your seven inch piece is as well as each of the mitered end of the legs. So I just wanna show you with the leg, the two by two leg that you cut out for 20 inches, you're gonna cut one end at 10 degrees, only do one end. And then you'll take the seven inch piece that you cut and you will line them up so that it goes as an angle, see? So that only do one end now. Drill pile holes at an angle at the end of each seven inch piece. This will ensure that the wood won't crack. Then assemble by drilling another hole to make sure that you get it through the leg. Add a little bit of wood glue and then use a screw to put in. Sometimes I like to do one screw, sometimes I like to do two. Whatever feels most sturdy for you. With the remaining one half by three board that you have, measure between the legs and cut that to two inches wide. Then at a gate angle, you're gonna screw that in just to add a little bit more support to the chair. I forgot to film the first step where you trace the one half by three inch board along the legs where you'd like that accent piece to appear. Um, but you just trace it, you'll cut it with your miter saw, and then instead of screwing it in, just put a little bit of wood glue on the side. Just like we did earlier with the legs, you're gonna wanna sand the top part of your bench. I like to start with 80 grit and then move up to 120 and then 220. And then we're gonna move on to the therapy session of this where you get to bang as much as you want out of this. I used both ends of my hammer, a wood rasper, anything that you have on hand, um, go crazy. And I do like to focus on the edges, especially with the wood rasper to ensure that they're nice and smooth. Finish with one quick hit of the 220 sandpaper, just to make sure everything is really smooth before you finish off. Now let's attach the legs. Measure six inches in on each end of the top piece. You're gonna place your leg on the inside of that line. Then you're gonna add two or three screws on each side. Always start with pilot holes first to ensure that the wood does not crack on you. Before officially screwing them on, don't forget to add a little bit of wood glue for support. Now let's do the other side. Again, measure six inches from the end. And place your leg on the inside of the line, not the outside like I just did. And before you put your screws in, don't forget your pilot holes, a little bit of wood glue in the screws, and you are all set to go.
next prep the wood with wood conditioner if you're using an oil-based stain stick to an oil-based wood conditioner the same for water-based once the wood conditioner is fully dry add your stains once your stains dry and you want to add a little bit more protection you can always add a layer of polyurethane and voila look at what you made yeah